Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Tilkson. So, today is finally the day that we received the Fright Nights 2017 maze announcement. That's right, we now know all of the mazes that are coming to Fright Nights for the 2017 season. They were released a few hours ago over on Fort's website and Twitter and Facebook and all that. And yeah, I'm so excited. I've just been gathering all the news I can get for this video. So yeah, let's get right into it. Just as a word of warning, I'll probably be using my phone quite a lot in this video because I don't know the facts off by heart yet. So yeah, if you see me looking like this, I'm looking at my phone. All right, so we're gonna start off with the mazes that are returning from previous years. So first off, we have got Platform 15. I'm gonna talk about the mazes like more in detail in a minute or so. Yeah, at the moment we've got Platform 15, Saw Alive returning, The Big Top, and Containment, which once again is a paid for attraction, so it doesn't really count as a maze. But yeah, we've got Saw, Big Top, and Platform 15 returning from previous years. And then of course we've got the big announcement, and if you'd have watched any of my previous Fright Nights videos, then you will have already known this, you've already got the, got the club. However, today Fort announced that officially The Walking Dead is coming into Fright Night 2017. And not just one maze, we have got two brand new Walking Dead mazes. We've got one called The Living Nightmare, which if you watched my original Fright Nights video, then you'd already know about that maze. But the maze that no one really knew about was The Walking Dead Sanctum which I'll talk about more in a second. But yeah, two Walking Dead mazes, pretty sick. Yeah, it's mad. Now, Fall Park have been promoting The Walking Dead and the idea that it's coming to Fright Nights all day in London today with their living billboard. It looks sick, to be honest. I wish I could go and see it. But as you can see, they basically just got a billboard and there's actors like part of the billboard. It looks sick. Um, and yeah, they're in London as they did with Platform 15 and like The Swarm. They're basically doing a public campaign to try and really promote um, The Walking Dead and the idea that it's coming to Fright Nights. All right, so let's get on to what we can actually expect to find within the mazes. So after releasing the names of the mazes, Fort Park also uploaded two videos for the brand new mazes, Living Nightmare and Sanctum, over on their website and on YouTube. So first of all, let's watch the Living Nightmare one. So yeah, that looks pretty sick. And now if we read the description of the maze, your fate is sealed, Lucille is coming. Lucille being, by the looks of it, like a baseball bat in The Walking Dead. I haven't watched season seven yet. But yeah, but Lucille seems to be like a baseball bat with barbed wire in it. New for 2017, nightmares become reality as you find yourself with other survivors at the terrifying mercy of the notorious Negan. Negan being the evil character in season seven, I believe. On the brink of imminent death, relieve the horror of the story so far in The Walking Dead Living Nightmare. Experience terrifying, iconic scenes of the world's biggest horror franchise, including the world's first experience of season seven. Choose your path and decide your fate. Will you escape the clutches of Negan in The Walking Dead Living Nightmare? So, quite a lot to talk about in there. First of all, The Living Nightmare is going where um, Cabin in the Woods used to go, so around the back of X. That's the one that we've been getting construction photos of. But yeah, that's going where Cabin in the Woods used to be. And by the sounds of it, we're gonna be experiencing scenes from different seasons of The Walking Dead, but they're really pushing the idea that it's gonna be quite a season seven heavy inspired maze. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff from season seven of The Walking Dead within this maze. However, one interesting part about this description is the part where it says, choose your path and decide your fate. Now, Cabin in the Woods, as a lot of you may know, was a free flow maze, multi route, which meant you could choose which way you went through the maze. There were various different rooms that you could go into. And the fact that this is in the same building as Cabin, and the fact that that is in the description makes me very much think that this is gonna be a multi route maze. 
which in my opinion is a very good thing because they always make it interesting. It means this maze will be good for reruns because you don't always get the same route, the same experience. So yeah, that's exciting. Hopefully we'll get a multi-route maze for Living Nightmare. And obviously with the rumours of the ca old cabin building being a two-storey maze this year, hopefully the Living Nightmare could accommodate a scene like this which is obviously from the prison location in The Walking Dead. That's such a sick location, it would work so well in the maze. And that brings us on to the Sanctum maze, so let's watch a little video for that. So once again, a cool little video, let's read the description for it. Those who arrive, survive. New 2017, your road to safety is within reach as you make your way through the compound to reach Terminus in this new live action outdoor maze, the Walking Dead Sanctum. Follow in the footsteps of survivors on your journey to refuge and meet the local residents. But look beyond and all is not what it seems as you realize that dreams of salvation may be a trap. The challenge is on. Make your way to Sanctuary past the roaming walkers or risk being captured. Will you survive the Walking Dead Sanctum? Right, so once again, quite a lot to talk about. I'm not too sure what Terminus is, so I'm gonna look it up now. All right, so by the sounds of it, it's from seasons four and five, and it's basically like a location used in the Walking Dead, like where the characters live or something. If you've watched Walking Dead and like, I'm wrong, sorry, but that's what, Wikipedia told me. But yeah, other than that, this um, description also confirms that this is going to be an outdoor maze, so the only locations you can think would be like the I'm a Celebrity Blair Witch Path or Over by the Swarm. I personally think this is going over by the Swarm. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's going over by the Swarm. If you watch my last construction update, you'll see um, where the Experiment 10 container. I think it's going to go in that area there. And yeah, an outdoor maze. Hopefully we'll finally get a good outdoor maze at Fort because obviously Platform and Blair haven't been the best mazes in the past few years, but hopefully we'll get a good outdoor maze this year. Also to point out, in that little video, there was a fire engine. And if you've been watching our construction updates, you know there is a fire engine a long month's walk. So it's looking likely that that fire engine will be put over in the Sanctum maze. So yeah. You should watch our construction updates because, yeah. And with the Sanctum, hopefully we can get this kind of level of theming. This was done in, I'm not sure if it was the German version or the American version. They have this like on the entrance to the maze and then this would be like the facade. Yeah, let's hope the theming this year for the Walking Dead mazes especially is top notch. Being made by AMC, hopefully AMC will help out with the theming. And yeah, hopefully we'll get some proper good themed mazes like the ones over in America. However, over in America they can't, the actors can't touch you. Whereas over here they definitely can touch you. So hopefully we'll get a combination of the amazing theming along with great acting. And hopefully these will be some of the best mazes in, in the world. <laughs> like, that might be a big shout, but it's looking positive this year. Yeah, it's mad. Now in terms of the other three mazes, they seem to be pretty much the same, apart from Platform 15, which if you read the blog that Fort Park published about Friday Night, in which they said, and the return of Platform 15, including brand new terrifying scenes. So, that makes it very much seem like Platform will be having work done to it, it will be a bit changed up from last year because it wasn't the best of mazes but it's looking positive for this year, it looks like they're going to be adding stuff, working on it. I know that the tunnel went up today so that's definitely coming back, not a good thing in my opinion but, but yeah, let's stay positive about Platform, let's hope it gets some good changes and comes back as an even stronger maze for this year. Now in terms of containment, not a lot has been released, however we know it is a paid attraction once again this year and 
yeah, nothing else has been said about it. So has it been changed at all from last year? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see with that one. Not a lot has been said about it at all. So as well as the mazes this year, we have also got another thing called the Final Cut Cinema. In the description, it says, haven't got the guts to endure our scare mazes. Get your doses horror at the Final Cut Cinema. Now showing highlights from the Walking Dead series so far, plus a trailer for the upcoming season eight. So by the sound of it, you're just gonna be able to go into this little cinema, watch things from the Walking Dead, and yeah, get, get to see the trailer for season eight of the Walking Dead. Where this is gonna happen, I don't know. I presume Angry Birds 4D cinema, but I can't be too sure, because I don't know if they're going to keep Angry Birds 4D over Fight Nights. But you think the cinema is where they put the Final Cut cinema. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see, but that's what it seems like. So yeah, that is everything that is coming to Fright Nights 2017. Another interesting thing that I found though is during half term, which is such a busy time at Fright Nights, the mazes will be opening at 12 o'clock rather than the normal three o'clock. So that means we get an extra three hours of mazes during half term. Hopefully that'll mean the queues die down a little bit because as I said, half term is just, it's near unbearable in terms of queues, they're so long. So yeah, credit to Paul Park for that. Um, more maze time, hopefully some more queues. So in, I think that is basically everything that has been announced today. All I have to say now is Fort Park, what was this about? I mean, we were all so sure it was gonna be either Blair Witch or somehow American Horror Story, but it's neither of them. So what is going on there for? I personally am still holding on to a bit of hope that American Horror Story will get announced within the next few weeks. But we can't let that take away at all from today's announcement because it's been sick. Two new mazes coming for this year with updates coming to the other mazes. Yeah, The Walking Dead is coming to Fright Nights 2017, guys. Less than a month to go now. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Me and Kieran are heading back to the park this Saturday, the 9th of September. So we're going to be getting all of the construction updates that are going on that day. And then that'll be the last one before Fright Nights begins. And all of the Fright Nights vlogs on this channel can begin. So yeah, as you can probably tell, I'm super excited. Leave a comment down below, guys, if you are happy with this news, if you're excited for The Walking Dead. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. My name is Jack Silso. Goodbye.